Hey, it's Ben from No Time to Game here with a new series where I got AI to recommend some JRPGs. I used a simple prompt, which can be found in the comments below, to see what chat GBT would give us. I did try Copilot at first, but its results weren't great. It uh, never really gave a big list. It, it seemed to struggle. So first up, we're delving into the world of the iconic Nintendo Entertainment System. A place where one could say the birth of the entire subgenre, that is JRPGs, began. For me, I was a little late to this console and its catalogue, being a Sega boy. But I have somewhat rectified this as my age has crept higher. Anyway, let's first introduce our generic AI voice, who I call Gav. Hello, I am Gav, and I will be your AI guru. Now, without further ado, let's in Bark on our journey of AI recommendations for the NES. Game 1 is Crystalis, released in 1990 by SNK. Crystalis is an action RPG set in a post-apocalyptic world ravaged by environmental disaster and magic. Players assume the role of a hero who awakens from cryogenic sleep with no memory of his past, embarking on a quest to save the world from an evil sorcerer. Crystalis impresses with its engaging storyline, vibrant graphics, and intuitive combat system. The game's innovative use of elemental swords, which can be powered up and combined for devastating attacks, adds depth to the gameplay. Plus, its open-world exploration and challenging dungeons offer hours of immersive gameplay. Personally, I've never finished Crystalis, but what I have played of it, I did enjoy. So I can say this is a pretty solid choice to start with. Game 2 will be Dragon Warrior 3, developed by Chunsoft and released in 1991 by Enix, now Square Enix. Dragon Warrior 3 is the third installment in the beloved Dragon Quest series. Players embark on a quest to defeat the evil archfiend Baramos, recruiting allies and exploring a vast world along the way. Dragon Warrior 3 captivates players with its classic turn-based combat, charming characters, and expansive world to explore. The game's class system, which allows players to customize their party members' abilities and professions, adds depth to the gameplay. Plus, its timeless graphics and memorable soundtrack make it a must-play for RPG enthusiasts. Dragon Warrior, or Dragon Quest 3, is a fantastic game, and one in which everything that makes a Dragon Quest game seem to come to fruition fully. It's like the game, the first two games helped build up to the third game, which now defines the entire Dragon Quest series. So that's another solid choice, Gav. Thanks, my third game is Final Fantasy released in 1990 by Square, now Square Enix. Final Fantasy is the first installment in the iconic series. Players embark on a quest to restore light to the four elemental orbs and defeat the evil sorcerer Garland, traveling across the fantasy world of Cornelia and beyond. Final Fantasy impresses with its epic storyline, memorable characters, and innovative gameplay mechanics. The game's turn-based combat system, which allows players to choose commands for their party members, adds strategic depth to the battles. Plus, its expansive world to explore hidden secrets and multiple classes for characters ensure replayability and hours of enjoyment. Can I really add anything to Final Fantasy? It's the origin of one of the biggest franchises ever, and my personal favourite of the series, so another solid recommendation. Next up we have Dragon Warrior A4, developed by Chunsoft and released in 1990 by Enix. Dragon Warrior A4 is the final instalment in the original Dragon Quest series on the NES. The game follows the adventures of several protagonists, each with their own unique storyline, as they ultimately converge to defeat the evil Necrosaro. Dragon Warrior 4 impresses with its innovative storytelling structure, engaging characters, and classic turn-based combat. The game's chapter system, which allows players to experience different perspectives and storylines, adds depth to the narrative. Plus, its charming visuals, memorable music, and challenging dungeons make it a standout title on the NES. Personally, I've not actually got round to this one yet, but hey, 
it's another Dragon Quest game, so I'm sure it's good. Trust me, Ben, Dragon Warrior 4 is good, but so is Game 5, is Mother developed by Ape and released in 1989 by Nintendo. Mother, known as Earthbound Beginnings in the West, is a quirky and charming RPG that follows the adventures of a young boy named Ninten as he battles against an alien invasion and searches for his missing grandfather. Mother charms players with its offbeat humor, unique setting, and memorable characters. The game's modern-day setting, unconventional battle system, and emotional storyline set it apart from traditional RPGs. Plus, its catchy soundtrack and heartfelt moments leave a lasting impression on players long after the credits roll. I'm going to say it. I'm not a big fan of the Mother series. But as always, that's just my opinion. But if you want to recommend it, Gav, go ahead. I will do Ben, and you can't stop me anyway. Game 6 is Final Fantasy 3. Final Fantasy 3 originally released in Japan for the Famicom NES in 1990 marks the third installment in the iconic Final Fantasy series. Developed by Square, now Square Enix, the game introduces several series staples such as the job system, which allows characters to switch between different classes, and a focus on narrative-driven gameplay. Final Fantasy III is praised for its engaging gameplay mechanics and innovative job system, which adds depth and customization to character progression. The game's charming 2D visuals, memorable soundtrack, and epic storyline captivate players as they journey across the world of the floating continent to save the world from darkness. Now, I'm a big fan of the DS remake of 3. Not to be confused with the Final Fantasy 3 US release for the SNES, which is actually 6. God, these get confusing. Final Fantasy numbers can get confusing, almost as confusing as Dragon Quest and Dragon Warrior. But anyway. Game 7 is Dragon Quest 2, developed by Chunsoft and released in 1987 by Enix. Dragon Quest 2 is the second installment in the Dragon Quest series. Players control a trio of heroes as they embark on a quest to defeat the evil wizard Hargon and restore peace to the kingdom of Torland. Dragon Quest II impresses with its classic turn-based combat, charming characters, and expansive world to explore. The game's party system, which allows players to control multiple characters in battle, adds strategic depth to the gameplay. Plus, its timeless graphics, memorable music, and challenging dungeons make it a must-play for RPG fans. Damn, you really like your Dragon Quest games, don't you? Dragon Quest is a great series, Ben, but so is Final Fantasy, which is why my next pick is Final Fantasy II. Final Fantasy II, originally released in Japan for the Famicom, NES, in 1988, is the second installment in the renowned Final Fantasy series. Developed by Square, now Square Enix, the game departed from traditional experience-based leveling systems and introduced a unique progression system based on character actions and usage. Final Fantasy II is praised for its innovative approach to character development and storytelling. The game's emphasis on character growth through actions, such as using specific weapons or spells, adds depth and realism to the gameplay experience. Some might say this is a controversial pick there, Gav. Final Fantasy II is very divisive. Love it or hate it, though. It could be said to be the origins of the Saga series, which is quite well loved. Well, I, the all-knowing AI Gavi, deem it good, so it's good anyway. Next, we have Faxanadu. Faxanadu is an action RPG developed by Hudson Soft for the Nintendo Entertainment System, NES, and released in 1987. The game is set in the fantasy world of Faxanadu, where the player controls a nameless hero returning to their homeland after an extended absence. Upon arrival, they discover that the land is in turmoil, with the local dwarves at war with invading monsters. The hero must embark on a quest to restore peace and prevent the impending doom threatening the world. Faxanadu stands out for its atmospheric world, challenging gameplay and immersive storytelling. The game features a vast interconnected world filled with diverse environments, ranging from mystical forests to towering mountains. 
players must navigate treacherous dungeons, battle fearsome monsters, and uncover ancient secrets to progress. With its engaging action, deep lore, and memorable soundtrack, Faxanadu offers a captivating adventure that keeps players hooked from start to finish. Personally, I could never get into this one. But hey, each to their own. My next might also be controversial, as well as people might argue it's not a JRPG, but I present Star Tropics, Star Tropics, developed by Nintendo and released for the Nintendo Entertainment System, NES, in 1990, is an action-adventure RPG set on a tropical island. Players control a young adventurer named Mike Jones, who travels to the South Seas to rescue his archaeologist uncle, Dr. J. Jones, from nefarious aliens. The game features a mix of exploration, puzzle-solving, and real-time combat as players navigate through dungeons and uncover the island's mysteries. Star Tropics stands out for its charming characters, unique setting, and engaging gameplay. The game offers a diverse range of environments to explore, from dense jungles to ancient ruins, each filled with secrets and challenges. Players must use their wits to solve puzzles, interact with quirky NPCs, and uncover hidden items to progress. With its intuitive controls, colorful graphics, and catchy soundtrack, Star Tropics delivers a memorable adventure that remains beloved by NS enthusiasts for its nostalgic charm and innovative design. Oh yeah, I've not played too much of this one. It's an old one I couldn't get into, but I can definitely hear the arguments now of whether this is or is not a JRPG. So here we go. Gav gave us 10 recommendations for the NES JRPGs. What do you think, and which ones do you like? Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, sub, and all that nonsense, and see you again soon.